Good morrow, my sweet strangers. We have an unexpected problem to solve today. So what do you do when your cat throws up on your keyboard? First, round up the cat and wipe the keyboard with it. Just kidding, please. Well, you could just go buy a new keyboard, but it's always better to try to save things before throwing them out. Besides, there is always time for that later if all fails. Hang out with me and I will show you how you can clean your Apple Magic Keyboard and give you a few useful tips. Start by taking a picture of it so you have something cool to show to your friends. Also, it might be helpful when you need to remember where the keys go after we are done with cleaning them. Before we go any further, unplug the keyboard from your computer or remove batteries if you have a wireless, unlike me. And also remember, time is your enemy. Start working on it as soon as possible while the damage is still wet. It doesn't work when it's all crusted up dry. Wipe off any big mess with a paper towel unless you've already used your cat. If there is too much goo under your keys, it's good to carefully remove them. Get your nail under the corner of each small square key and gently but firmly pop it out. There are a few exceptions though, so I have drawn a little chart here. I marked the positions of the wires and also the corners, which are easiest to pull up. Some square keys are oriented sideways. And with the longer keys, you need a slightly different approach. They are held down by a small wire, see? Some have the wire at the top, some at the bottom. And the space bar is the trickiest one. It has wires from the top and the bottom. So you just need to partially pop them out and then gently slide them out of the little hole anchors. Remove all the keys you need to. I ended up stripping the keyboard completely because I realized it was disgusting to start with. Wash all the loose keys in warm water with mild dish soap. Don't use any harsh cleaners or you will end up with blank keys. It's important to not wash your keyboard in water. Use isopropyl alcohol instead. It's great for cleaning circuit boards. Read safety instructions, work in a well-ventilated area and be miles away from any fire source. Remember that even vapors can ignite. Take a clean plastic tub, I used a lid from a storage box, and put your keyboard in it. Wash it in the isopropyl alcohol. Rinse as much dirt out of it as you can. If you need to use a soft toothbrush, preferably not your friend's one, and gently scrub it. Flip the keyboard upside down and rinse it more. Replace the alcohol with clean one if necessary and remember to dispose of the used chemical according to your local requirements. When you're happy with your laundry, drip any excess alcohol out of your keyboard. You can dab it with a paper towel and place the keyboard in warm, dry place to dry up completely. This might take 3, 4, 5 days, depending on your climate. Now it's time to play a little puzzle with your loose keys and place them in the correct spot. Use your original photo as a reference or Google a photo of your keyboard online. Let's start with the hardest one, the space bar. First, slide the bottom wire into the holes. Then guide the top wire into the holes while tilting the keyboard up. Then push gently to lock in place. The little square ones are mostly easy. Just push them down gently until you hear them click in place. There is only few, like 6 and 9, where you have to look from the back which one is which. You can tell by the placement of the little hooks on their backside. The narrower ones go to the top or to the right on a few keys like F, J and few other ones. Now, for the longer ones with a wire. First, you need to slide the wire through the little anchor holes. Place the key in the right place and then push it gently down to hear it click in place. Now, when it's all together, 
good to go and the keyboard is properly dry, it's time to find out how we did. I noticed some more dirt between the keys, which can be easily cleaned using an irregular computer cleaner. Just spray a little on a Q-tip and rub the last dirt off. Now that's perfect. I'm not saying this is 100% foolproof, but we gave it our best shot. And if you don't try, you don't gain anything. <laughs>